Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Trumpeter's brand new tooled release of the Fairy Former Mark 1 in 148 scale. Really strange. I never thought we'd see this aircraft, but actually it's nice to see Trumpeter perhaps are going back to how they used to do it. Because we used to see some really weird and wacky stuff that I never thought we would see, especially RAF and Royal Navy subjects, uh, World War II type stuff. But it looks like they've sort of gone back on it by doing the actual, uh, the former. Not a particularly well-known aircraft, let's put it like that, but obviously from a naval point of view, incredibly important. Anyway, we've got, you can see down in here, really nice box art. Got the carrier in the background uh, and all the rest of it. So you can see it's basically a uh, reconnaissance stroke everything aircraft. Uh, you know, obviously attack various ones and it played many, many roles. All right. As you can see, we've got some nice options for it down in there. So obviously we've got the usual type of suspects with the grey and the green, which is personal favourite of mine. But we have got the one with the white underside and obviously we've got the two-tone with the brown and the actual uh, green markings down in there as well. Looks like we get a nice little bit of photo etch, which is quite nice, and obviously the large decal sheet for this particular one. So kit number for this one is 05822. All right, so in the box, which is, it's a dinky box, but it's a very, very strong box that I can't even get into. There we go, bite my way in. You can see it's packed. It's absolutely solid, very, very nice details indeed. So there we go, we've got a nice molded uh, intake for it. We've got the fuselage halves, which look like they're very nice, we've raised and recessed, recessed on the wings, that looks very nice indeed. I assume that's going to be your clear parts as always. We've got absolutely the wings, this looks like it's got folded wings on this, which would be very nice. All right, and then down in there as well, some of the cockpit details. Some of the ones for the wings, I assume. Oh, hello, what's in there? Something very delicate is going to be in there, which we'll have a look at in a moment. We've got the instructions, and then obviously down in here. As we've been finding with a lot of their kits of late, we've got a mast set. Is that a mast set? Yes, there we go. We've got a mast set as well. So it's a die cut mast set in with this one. And there's our little bit of photo etch as well. So that's a really nice touch with those. So as always, we will start with the instructions though. So we hope that unfold. All right, so let me just increase that just a little bit. All right, so usual thing, we've got those as well. So, got your parts for it. It doesn't look overly massive, but actually it's a lot crammed in a very small box, all right? So down into the actual cockpit area, plenty of detail as you can see going down in here. So again, we've got photo etch harnesses, which is quite nice for the seats. So we've got the seats going in there and uh, we've got the various bits and pieces. You've got your wireless operator and things being fitted down into these. So again, very, very nice touch with those ones. All right, so as you say, fore cockpit and rear cockpit has been put in. So again, looks like some nice details all the way through with that. All right, then it's going to be a straightforward. We've got a cat system going in for the spinner to be fitted to. Then obviously we've got literally that entire built up uh, cockpits uh, and observer's area is being fitted into the middle there. That's just going to fit in. And then on the front, we have got it. So it is a nice, good old uh, wing fold system for this one. So we've got the fuselage. We've got the underside as well. Prop and spinner, obviously you're going to fit them later probably, but as you say, they're there as well. And then we've got these ones fitted down into this as well. So again, plenty of details. So we've got those wheel wells, all those areas being fitted, and then it's going to be a drop in onto the bottom. All right, so again, very nice indeed. Pretty straightforward on this one, as you can see. Forward uh, glasswork going in there. We've got the exhaust being fitted. Rudder's going to be going on. And then obviously all the glasswork. And again, there's plenty of glasswork on this one. And then thanks to obviously a really nice die cut mast set, we've got a full set for that one as well. So really nice upgrade to this particular kit. We've got all your gear being fitted down onto there. And that huge cooling uh, system uh, radiators being fitted to the underside as well, the actual engine, and then the main gear, legs all being fitted, tail wheel being fitted, and then down in here, we've got the tail planes uh, as well being fitted onto this one, so those all going on, and then obviously some few little lumps and bumps underneath, which is fair enough. Tail hook going down in there as well. And then, as I say, it's very sort of basic the way they've laid this out, which is really nice. A couple of areas, rear view mirror, and then the outer wings with the wing fold set as well. And it looks like it's structural right the way through, which is nice. Going to be good, solid build with this one as it all fits down into there. That's that funny bit, which I did see in there. I wonder what that actually was. So it's an, a fillet that's going to go into the actual wing fold sections. The lights being fitted to the outside, landing light onto, onto the front. Exactly the same on the other side, and then down here at the back. So again, some really nice details into this 
So when it is all folded and that, you can see all of these details come into this one. So very nice with those, with the flaps and everything being fitted down onto it. Same on the other side, if you imagine, all the way through. And then again, really nice. We can have this folded up and I assume we can probably have it extended as well. So the way that this works, this entire back box area with the flap on it folds up to make it fit in really, really nicely. So it's a quite a complex wing fold system. It'd be really nice to show it on a model uh, to have it all folded up as well. And again, great thing is it's not gonna take up a mass amount of room on your display case either. So again, very nice with all of those fitted down into it. Or if you want to, you can have it and just have them folded out. To be honest, looking at it, you've got so much meat on this, it does make you wonder if you can actually have it, is it almost a working part the way it's gonna work? So, uh, you know, there's plenty of things in there. So you could literally have these as little hinges fitted onto it. So they will fold up out of the way and they'll swing around various things. So again, very, very nice detail on that. That's actually pretty good stuff. So your marking options for this one, as you can see down in here, we've got this one with the gray green, the sort of standard uh, C colors. Then we've got the ones, the sort of early war, I presume, with the black and the white for the underside for the identification marking with the white. And again, with the two tone uh, with grey green on the top which is nice and then again we've got more later ones down in here and then we've got this little guy down in here which i'm not even sure where he's from with the yellow markings so uh, yes it's obviously somewhere else but i don't know where that is hopefully we might find that out all right so we've got the decals if we start down in here we've got the decals and we'll probably have to slide it it is always nice how trumpeter protect their decals i know people say about their decals are a bit off it's venezuelan so there we go the venezuelan markings really nice all right so down in here obviously we've got die cut mask set as i said before that's very nice we've got the decals and we've got the actual photo etch with this one so again looking at the decals first they're pretty good pretty sharp maybe a little bit thick but to be honest, don't feel it. Feel good, solid. You've just got that thing that all trumpeter decals have is that sort of film over the top of them. They have that look, even though they're protected, they still get that funny look. But generally, as you can see, very nice indeed. So we've got those, and then obviously you've got the mask set and the actual uh, various bits on there as well. So various things. And again, down in here, we've actually got your harnesses. We've got the grills, very nice. All the bits you might want, a couple of these ones down in here. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. Okay, so I'll pick these up, there we go. Let's start with the fuselage, which actually looks really nice. So fuselage itself has got raised details onto this, as in the paneling, it's lapped. So I assume that that's what we're trying to create here. It's like a lapping system. So it's actually not panel lines because it's lapped which is really nice so unfortunately a lot of this detail which should be raised if, if you know theoretically is actually recessed but what they have done you can see down the side here this is actually you can hear it it's lapped so it's actually like raised panel lines onto this right the way through so again it's a little bit of a cop out the way they've done it but i assume the original would have been overlapped right the way down onto this one so to recreate that they've actually put in raised panel lines so you've got recessed details raised panel lines now i know what a lot of you are thinking about oh no it's going to be horrible to work with but actually you could dry brush them and i think these raised ones with a dry brushing a little bit of weathering onto them would work just equally as well all right but generally you can see we've got the fasteners on the front there looking very nice indeed and then obviously the various things running through internal detail i don't think it's going to be any oh we've got a little bit down the back here because so i knew obviously we've got the cockpit cabin area but again we've got some nice side warning detail we've got some nice ribbing down in there and everything the wheels a little bit basic but we've got smooth tires on this which is absolutely fine we've got some nice let's say fabric ribbing onto the actual uh ailerons i assume these are so yes very nice and uh that's working the wings we'll work our way through Okay, so as you can see down in here, quite a small sprue. This is sprue F. 
uh, you can see really nice all recessed completely recessed detail on this one so we say the gun areas are completely closed off there's no detail in them whatsoever as you might imagine but again obviously we've got this folded up area we've got some nice level of details down in here so that looks really nice indeed and again riveting detail is raised so we've got some raised some recess so this is all raised rivets in these and it's really sharp very crisp so that's very nice indeed and we've got raised rivets down in here so this is there you go here they're all raised very nice indeed and again what's right quite nice with this one we've got these huge big areas which traditionally might cause sink marks and things we've got no sink marks on this at all so it's very nice so you've got all the strengthening in here we've got these nice wide flat areas for mating surfaces as well down here on the front and obviously on the outside here so again really nice we get a good level of glue down in there the only thing i'm not a fan on is these squared off you can see where the actual uh, ejector pin area sorry the um, gate comes in obviously to get that off what i would suggest is literally cut it back in here again so you're cutting down don't cut across and then sand it flush into it otherwise if you take too much out when you've got the two areas sandwiched together you're going to get so just a little bit of thing there but generally nice is going to need a little bit of uh, cleanup because on here for instance it's quite rough and it's raised so there's an ejector pin right on these as well but again they could give interference if you've got two on the same side so just make sure you give those a wipe but generally no sink mark on that at all and that's one of those areas you'd expect to see one but there isn't so that's very nice indeed all right we have got the big old scoop on here we're assuming that this thing suffered from overheating <laughs> so they stuffed a huge scoop onto it and again somewhat slide molded so it's all in one so no big horrible seam line down the middle again really nice touch with it uh, and again we've got some of the details but we've got uh, photo etch parts for some of these as well so looking pretty darn good i think the ejector pins and stuff inside in there you're never going to see them so i won't worry about it but yeah very very nice indeed okay outer wings so through the hole there we go so with the outer wings as you can see so we've got the gun shoots for the empties coming out look a little bit big but they may be that big i don't know as i say don't know this aircraft particularly well um and again really nice detail with all of these i think by the time it's had a wash on this and a little bit of work and a bit of fading and stuff it'll look absolutely mega so really really nice kit and again same thing again we've got all this beautiful raised details down on these so again very nice and again exactly the same and again same issues under here so i just make sure you clean these off you can see it there little white bits coming through but generally very nice all the ejector pins are recessed so none of them are sticking proud or anything else like that so it's going to be quite a nice straightforward job but you can catch the level of detail on those it's really nice indeed okay next we have a bigger camera for this one we have this is the under area and the flap i call it the flap area i don't know what officially it is the big box bit that lifts up for the wing fold all right so again looks very nice indeed so we pop in this side we've got the gear doors so again the gears have got ejector pins but they're going to be hidden because it's actually where the post is going to be coming down from the main gear which is quite nice other ones are devoid of them all as well so that's very nice as well these are these box sections so obviously flap here on the back but the rest of it is all going to lift up and raise and again big old parts down in here no sink marks at all it looks like there's a sink mark but i honestly think i don't think that's a sink mark there's something going on you can just maybe catch it in the light but i can't feel anything it feels fine so it may be just one of those sort of you know just literally a tiny one but by the time you get some paint on it i don't think you're going to see it at all so that's nice moving further down as you say this is the belly obviously with the gear fuselage belly down in here again looks really nice good level of detail little few couple of uh, uh raised bits i assume this is for uh, uh bridles and things just down in here but generally looks very nice indeed gear looking pretty good yeah it's a sharp kit very nice kit okay so cockpit areas all right looking very nice in 
indeed, generally. A little bit soft maybe, but again, looking around in here. So wheel well section itself, really nice. We've got the ribbing, got the formers, the bits down in there as well. So it looks very nice for the actual main gear. But the only thing is, is that when we're just looking at some of the side walling details down in here, just looks a little bit soft. Perhaps it'd be nice if that was a little bit sharper because to be honest, you could dry brush, but these wiring areas, they are so flat onto it. It's gonna be very difficult to pick them out. Like this throttle quadrant down in here, I assume this is. It just, yeah, it needs to be more raised, I think, more pronounced. It's way too flush. Same with a lot of this detail. It's got all this great detail on, but it's gonna be almost impossible to pick it out by hand, I think, unless you're a proper artiste with your brush, with your magnifiers on one hair at a time. To put that wiring in is going to be an absolute nightmare. Instrument panel looks pretty good though. Nice recessed bezels. The bits down in there, so that looks nice. These funny bits here, these are these infills. As you can see, there's a little bit of burring on them. All right, but obviously this is for the wing fold, uh, doing it on that particular way. And then again, we've got down in here, the rudder. Looks pretty nice. And then we've got the decked area. So these the rear deck for the observer navigator everything else sir looks pretty good nice recessed details down into there but again i'm just not sure what this wiring's trying to achieve it's on here but it is so so flat it's very difficult to pick it out that one's not so bad but these down in here to do these wiring bits and that going to be really very very difficult indeed but uh very nice okay then we got the mystery one so down in here with the mystery Again, you can't fault the packaging. The boxes are absolutely solid and they do protect all the delicate parts as well. Okay, I did wonder where the tails were. So, to be honest, this doesn't need to be protected that much. The reason that they've done it is just a couple of bits that are sitting proud here, but it's really nice they've taken the time to protect it. So what we've got is sprue D, and again, that looks very, very nice indeed. If we do it the right way up even, we start over here. You can see very very nice some of the small details we've got the exhausts which are not hollowed all right uh, the arrestor hook looks a little bit afterthoughty if i'm being honest it literally looks like a couple of bits of plastic off but uh, again you could easily just sharpen that up just a little bit uh, generally very nice as well props looking pretty darn good very sharp but again these boxes for the radio equipment they're very basic incredibly basic so it just needs a little bit more living on that i don't know if somebody's going to do a color photo etch set that would be nice if they did just to then remove all of this rubbish and put in some nice stuff because again i think it sort of needs it but yeah very nice and again they're doing this supportive system the way that these all go in very very nicely done but again it's got these gates and half of them are lying flush on top so just be careful as you take them off it's say it's not a problem so much on these with it's got the the female side but on the male side with the pins up you end up taking the pins off trying to clean these up so um but yeah actually that's not bad at all very very nice last up we got the clear parts <clears throat> trumpeter do not fail me now but trumpeter to be honest do do some of the clearest parts uh out there i've never had a bad one yet this is where it fails me again beautifully protected and once again they literally don't disappoint Look at those, gorgeously crisp, sharp, really sharp edging on them as well. Luckily we've got a mask set, but if you didn't, you could hand mask these because the, there's a nice edge to the window so you could actually get in there and put them all round. But again, thankfully we do get a mask set and that's gonna save a lot of work going around in these. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. And again, even the actual outer windows. This one here with the nav light, it's got two I assume they're bumps deliberately inside. If you can see, it looks like a little tear just into it. I assume it's where the light fits into it and they've carved it out because it's top and bottom. I assume it's a deliberate part and not a slight little bubble down in there or something. Again, time will tell. It's only a tiny thing if it is. I don't think anyone's going to notice it. But they are beautifully, beautifully done. Very crisp right the way through. All right. And there we have it. I have to say, I think that is an absolute beautiful kit. It's really, really nice. It's got some really nice details and the way it's got the wing fold and that disappointing cockpit. 
side panels, stuff like that. If somebody comes up with a nice color replacement, you know, photo etch or obviously 3D, um, you know, Quinta, someone like that did the details for it. I think it would look absolutely fine. That I'm just saying, I don't know how much you're going to see. Once it's buried inside those cockpits, I don't think you're going to see much of it at all. But generally, I think that's literally the only weak spot. As I say, the detail looks really nice right the way through. Good, clean, crisp, sharp. And the way that the wing fold is, I think that's going to be something a little bit different. Instead of the traditional fold up, this lies back. So again, I think that's going to be a nice touch to actually show this one folded up as well. Anyway, that is Trumpeter's brand new 148 scale Fairy Former.